what's poppin' everybody, you know what time it is, we got the block hot with the Lavender Orgy Podcast, get ready to have your socks rock. Jacob, Jacob Boudreau, Boudreau, who also, who also goes, goes by Manix. Manix. He's an up and coming hip hop artist, and he's, and he's one, of one of the hottest, hottest talents in Kelowna right, right, right now. now. Jacob, Jacob, please introduce, please introduce yourself. yourself. Oh, shucks. Hello, everybody. My name is Jacob Boudreau, and Manix is my good friend Walter over here, as explained. And I'm lucky enough to be invited to the first episode of the podcast. The first first tape, that's number, number one. one baby. So I so understand, I Jacob, Jacob, that, that you, you recently played, played the Western, Western, Western show, show four, four different, different times. times. Five different times, but yeah. Five, five different times. times. Tell, me Tell me about, about your, your experience. experience. Well, um... It was incredible. Uh, it was a really great experience. It was nice to have the opportunity to go up and perform in that kind of area um, with those kind of people there. And the reception that I received was was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Um, building up to it, uh, I was nervous for the first performance that I did. Um, at the very end of it, um, the last eight bars, I choked, totally forgot him, I drew a blank. It's never happened to me before. Um, but it wasn't a bad thing. Nobody even really noticed, except for when I was like, oh goodness, I forgot uh, what I was gonna say. But the reception was still great. Um, it was really tight. I enjoyed myself, and um, the people that were there seemed to as well, so. What do you what think, do you of, think the of the sport of basketball? Basketball, it's cool. Like, me personally, I'm not really a big sports person. When I was younger, I played football for a couple of years. Um, and then I kind of got out of that and fell into music. Basketball itself, as a sport, I really like it because um, I feel like the, the level of sportsmanship between the teams is a lot higher. I feel like there's more of a respect just from an outside perspective looking in. Um, I don't know, it seems like more of a community and that's coming from somebody that doesn't really pay attention to any type of, uh, any type of media involving the sports. So that's my opinion on it. How does How your, your performance, performance at West compare, compare to yeah, other yeah, performances, performances that you have done? done. Well, <clears throat> Westerns was the first, um, I guess, it was probably my my biggest performance, and it was the first performance that was like kind of centered around me, where I had like my own set time. I've done the Christmas concert before, um, but the scale of it was bigger too, being in the gymnasium um, and having anywhere from you know 50 to 200 people in there at once. Um, at first was kind of scary, but then after I did the first couple perform performances and I kind of just like settled myself into it and I got my confidence on, um, it was nice. I can't, uh, 
I don't know, Tyler the Creator, um, in an interview that he did with Genius a while back, he said that when he was asked about music and what he thinks of it and everything, he said that it gives him this feeling that he can't just go buy in the store. And that's why he keeps going back to it, essentially. And I kind of, that's how it feels with music for me and for performing. Um, there's a feeling that you get when you are up on stage and you see that you have the people's attention and that they're listening to what you're saying and um, either they're enjoying it um, and they're taking it for what it is or they're digging deeper or whatever it may be to see that you have um, their focus uh, and their attention and that they like the music is um, it's a great feeling and it's enlightening it shows you that you're kind of doing something right I guess <coughs> It has come, come time, time for a for track, track review. review. Let's, Let's go, go for away, away for a while. while. Let's, Let's go, go away for a while. Let's, Let's go, go away for a while. while. Bye, Bye, the Beach, Beach Boys. Boys. Let's go. 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 Let's go, go away, away for a while. Playing, playing in the background. background. Jacob, 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 tell me, tell me what, what you think. think. Um, so, honestly... You gave me a bit of uh, background information on the song and its creation and everything. And um, I kind of just tried to take it in, like, for what it was while I was listening to it. And to me, it gives me, like, flashbacks and makes me think of when me and my father were at the Greenway in the summertime when we would go for hours like every single day um <clears throat> it was so much fun the instruments that are used like in this song it just kind of brings it brings it out i can see why they call the album pet sounds because something about the way that he constructed this musically um makes me feel like i am in the locations where wildlife and stuff like that would be like for this part of the song that's playing right now it, it makes me imagine a very warm sunny day in a meadow right next to the bmx park i remember i would go there all the time there's a tree right in the middle of the field and you just have to go past the bmx park and you go up the ramp and then the trail continues there's like three bridges and everything and it just um it takes me right to that moment um you were telling me that he kind of went mad almost while creating this and um <clears throat> i can see why because the level of depth that is put into this music that i'm just taking away from it relating my own personal experiences to the sound is um a lot just off of literally one listen so uh i think creatively there's a lot that you can get from this if you continue to dig really deep um and i enjoy it it's definitely something that i'm going to be looking into more you have kind of enlightened me in terms of musical taste can we, Can get, we a get a rating, rating out, of out of 10, 10 of, of let's, let's go, go away, away for a while by, by, the, by the Beach Boys? Boys? Out of 10. Well, I would have to go with... I'd give it a solid 8.5. 8. 8.5. 8. 5. 5. We have yeah. 8. 8. 5. Okay. 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 Yeah. 
from my words now, like I had a white whiteboard. Yeah, I've been chilling and I kind of feel so bored. Because I have been coming up out of the morgue. I don't have no challenges anymore. Yeah, I've been working on my stone free. Got no money with me, I don't need an attorney. I can do it pretty easily. Listen to me, I got to do something to change history. Right, right. Next word, next word, next word. We going with Gaia. Take a step back, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire, yeah. Fire, yeah. You step down to me, 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 Westerns was bananas, and I'm counting these blessings, yeah, I managed to change my life around, and this damage that I have will not hold me back, yo, give me your word right now, I can kill this, yeah, got sound, yo, yo, next word, next word is pet sounds, pet sounds, yeah, make you have, oh goodness, wait, Pet sounds make you feel so magical. Wait, pet sounds, that's a difficult word to rhyme now. I don't know if I can find that, that's profound. But when I get up on the beat, they say that I'm profound. Doesn't really matter what you say, yeah, I go now. Got the whole town going bananas all around like a carousel. Yeah, I'm out there like the caramel, sweeter than the candy that you've been eating on. Now I'll pop you like a zany and catch you like Pokemon. Uh. Next, next word, next, next word, word, next, next word. word, next word. word. No, no, next, next word. word. No, next word. We are done on the podcast, but before you go, Jake, I need to you know about your future, your future plans. plans. Yes. Oh, right. future plans. 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 Future Okay, well, um, so yeah, as you said, I do have an EP coming out. I, uh, I have a couple things to put together for it right now, and uh, once, I once I figure, I figure, that, figure that, out, that, out, that out, it'll be it'll released, be released I, figure I figure within, within the next, the next month, month or so, so. Um, um, it'll, it'll be out, it's, it's going, going to be anywhere from, from three, three to probably five, five or six or tracks, track. um, basically kind of... Kind of giving some giving insight, some insight as, as to where I've been and what I've been doing, what I've been doing over, over the last, last few years since I decided to change my life around and kind of explain where I, where I come, come from, what I was at to an extent. And by next month, Jacob Boudreau is talking about March 2020. It's been a pleasure, Jacob. The Lavender Orgy Podcast, Episode 1. Do you have any final words? Do I have have any final words? words? Well, 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 you asked me about 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 the future. future. Life is good. I've been been doing doing everything that that I think I should. And I'm here to keep all of my motives and keep a clear vision and make sure that I stay focused. I got a lot of goals and things that I have to overcome, and I know that I can do it if I keep all of my guts and I mix in the love and I keep all of my habits in check and I make sure that I don't forget me, and that's madness. Three, two, one, lavender orgy!